Hi guys, and welcome back from a short break on my behalf. You're gonna attend your job at some point. Uh, <laughs> so, in the next couple of videos, we are gonna concentrate about the, uh, the what the focus is gonna be on the GLR type uh, cars. So, moving away from the Mini C's and going to the more professional uh, type chassis, uh, the GLR, the Atomic, whatever uh, there is, those type of chassis. Because the Mini C's drive incredibly well. And the most, for the most part in this uh, channel, we have gone over the box stock aspect. And the reason I have seen some comments about what about uh, pro stock mini C's and something like that. The leap from box stock to something more agile or fast. I don't see the need to fill the gap between a box stock or a slightly updated or modified box stock to this. Unless you're racing in this kind of spec class, I would not I would cut the middleman and just say, okay, I'm ready to go for something that goes faster than a Mini C, normal Mini C with a PN motor or the brushless version of the Evo or something like that, to something that goes and steers and are agile like this. I wouldn't upgrade the Mini C um, with aluminium front ends, unless, of course, again, blah, 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 you're racing spec class, then it has its purpose, of course. But if your main goal is to drive fast and has have a very good car that, that drives really well and almost like a, a, I would say it drives actually like a 12 scale, then I wouldn't make the, um, the in-between. I would just go straight to this. It seems like a big jump, but slow it down it will be fine. So, in these videos, I am gonna go through something that is almost impossible to find on, on YouTube for these cars. And I will go completely through after you build it, after the uh, instruction manual, until you're race ready. Ready? Not in this video, it's gonna be serious like, uh, like the other ones where I, I section them out in tow and right height but there are a lot more things to consider on these um, when you're talking about these um, and not the mini C's because this has a lot more adjustability so the normal procedure I do before I do anything is that I build the chassis from the manual I've done this all these years I've been racing I even built my first, hold on a minute, uh, I built my first car, one 12 scale, it was a Yokomo or something, uh, after a setup sheet from someone and it was absolutely terrible. And from that day I learned that I need to build it after the manual and after that make the setup changes. What I think I have, uh, let me, hold on, oh yeah these are very... <laughs> Very in the moment videos. So, this was actually one of my first. Oh, let's just bring this out. That's a big boy here. So, this was uh, one of my first cars. As you can see, oh, as you can tell, this is a Yokomo. And this was actually the first time I really gave setup some thought. And I actually ended up, I think it was my year three racing. I can't remember how old I was. But I actually won the uh, the stock class in that. But it was because I actually paid some attention to setup and just didn't copy other people's setup. And the reason why I say that you just don't copy other people's setup is that that setup from that very, very good guy can work very well at the track it's set up at. Okay? So it is set up to that person's specific track, transmitter setup and track temperature and humidity and all that so that's why i always say build your car race it find out where it's lacking a little bit 
and then go from there. Okay, so with that, let's jump into the videos of the GLR advanced setup kind of videos. And we'll go through everything, setup, even transmitter setup, everything. I don't think I will go into tires even now um, because it's, I can and I probably will at some point. Um, it depends a lot of the track. This is the main, the, the tires are the main portion that is, that is the, that is the only thing that actually is in contact with the track. So there is a lot of variables there. So as I said, I mentioned before, on the track you're racing at, ask the fast guys, what are you currently running? And just use that, use that as a base for the tires. Um, so yeah. Let's get on with it. Good to be back. And thank you for uh, all of the support. And especially from uh, Garage RC and Mini C Me. Uh, I have seen these channels a lot before when I started racing Mini C's because they're so fascinating to both look at and hear people talking about them. So thank you for them. Thank you for giving me some attention uh, because yeah uh, I'm not in it for anything other than those two guys apparently and just just to spread the word of mini C and RC in general because it's such a great hobby so thank you guys and see you in the next one